Not scared. Oh, no. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What does it taste like? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another international food haul. Today we're going to be eating the snacks and treats of Norway. This is part two. Thank you so much to Tommy for sending us these snacks and treats. You gave us so much. Um, so we had to split them into two. If you guys missed part one, make sure you check it out by clicking on the i right up there. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we have here is called Stubber Mackerel. So these are mackerel fillets in tomato sauce. And this is something very popular to have on a slice of bread for lunch in Norway. So that's what Tommy Jeez. wrote in his notes. And these look delicious. Yeah, looks very delicious. Yeah. Mm. I've never had that, mackerel in tomato sauce in before. Tomato sauce. Takimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, it's good. Mm. <laughs> oh, see that. Oh, this is good. Mm. This is yum. Let me try this just mm. on its own. Mmm. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, I could just eat this like this. Mm. I think this would be good even on rice. I think so uh -huh. too. It's not fishy at all. And I don't know, it's just so good. I really, really love this. Thank you, Tommy, for sending Thank this you. to us. The next one is called Smash from Nida. Uh, corn, corn snack coated with chocolate. Yeah, mm. yeah. My favorite type. It looks like tree branch. Tree branch. Yes, it does. Mm. Oh! <coughs> like. In Japan, we have tongari corn. corn. Yes, <laughs> tongari <laughs> corn. Tongari corn, <laughs> but with chocolate on mm. it. Mm, delicious. <laughs> it's crispy, salty, sweet. Mm. Mm, I love mm. this combination. Mm, mm, mm. So next, we have this uh, big package again, and these are called kivit lunz. Kivit lunz. Lunz. I don't know how to say it, but it translates to quick lunch. And he mm. says that this is basically Norway's version of Kit Kats. I see. Right. I see. And this is a triple pack. So oh. it has three pack in size. We're gonna open one. And when you open it, oh, they look just look like, like a Kit Kat. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Mmm, Kit Kat. <laughs> like Kit Kat, yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Tastes pretty identical, mm. really. Mm. <laughs> no. Yeah, crispy wafers, mm -hmm. surrounded by a uh, milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Very nice, <laughs> very nice. They taste like Kit Kat. That's all we can say. The next one is Mandel Stang. And this is a almond rod fondant almond rod. coated with chocolate and almonds. Uh, and fondant mm. on the inside. That's what the white stuff is. That's so interesting. I thought it was coconut at first. Never had fondant coated mm. with chocolate and almonds. Mm. Hmm. 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 That's nice. It is fondant. It tastes like fondant. Chocolate covered fondant with almonds. Very sweet for me. It's very sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it's, it's quite sweet and um you know fondant is basically sugar, so mm. <laughs> that's what it tastes like. The next one is also from Freya and this is a milk chocolate and this is a fruit fruit knot. Fruit knot. Yeah, this is um, raisin and hazelnut. We are so surprised at the size of these chocolate bars. They are exactly double the size of the ones you get in Japan. They are huge! No, double. It's toy ball. Mmm! 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 Mm. Mm. I like this. Raisin. Raisin and hazelnut. Really creamy milk chocolate. Smooth. I love fruit and nut type of chocolates. Next one is from Nidal. Stratos and Litago. Tommy says that this is a air bubble chocolate mm -hmm. with a milkshake filling. And Litago is a well-known chocolate milk there in Norway. So it's chocolate milk. It's a I chocolate see. milk chocolate flavored milk. I see. airy chocolate. Yes, I remember the last week we ate the Stratos. It's airy, airy chocolate. Yes, but this one has a oh milkshake inside. Milkshake. Mm -hmm. mm. This is good. Mm. This tastes like a chocolate milkshake. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's delicious. I, I feel like I want to melt this in milk. It's so good. Mm. That's yummy. Yes, I like this airy, airy texture. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. 
It's my favorite type. And very milky. So milky. Very, very. Mm. Like mm. a milkshake. Mm. The next one we have is called Troika. And these are layers of jelly, truffle, and marzipan coated in dark chocolate. Oh, wow. In Japan, we hardly ever use marzipan. Mm. I, I, I don't think we even mm. use it at mm. all. Oh. Nice. Mmm. Mm. What, what is this? Wow. This is jelly, truffle, uh, and marzipan. Jelly and dark mm. chocolate. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, jelly tastes really nice. It is it's sweet. The thing that makes this good is that there's mm. dark chocolate. I think mm. if they use milk chocolate, mm. it would be too sweet. Mm. 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 But because the dark chocolate is not so sweet, mm. it doesn't fight off. The flavors yeah. of the jelly. jelly. Oh my god, we have so much chocolate again today. So much, and we're not even halfway through. Next is also chocolate. <laughs> it's peanut. Peanut? Peanut. Peanut kube. <laughs> peanut kube. Mm. From Freya. This is milk chocolate filled with peanuts and toffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can see uh, lots of peanuts yes, inside. Yes. And toffee. Toffee. I see. Yeah, here you go. Mm. Good texture. Mm. Mm. It's kind of like a softer Snickers mm. without the caramel. Mm. And I'm replacing that with toffee. I think this is very good when we are hungry. I think so too. <laughs> and we're not particularly hungry right now. Like this would be great like if we were hiking or something. Yes, yes, yes. Right? yes, yes good like for some energy. And we have another one from the same company. This is a Top Risk Kube. What is Kube? Kube. I have no idea. idea. So Satoshi just googled it and kube means um, a log. It's a wooden log. And it makes a lot of sense because these look like mm, a log. The shape is like that. Yeah. Top rice is translated as top rice. This is uh, milk chocolate filled with roasted rice and toffee. Nice. Mm. 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 I like mm. this <laughs> mm. <laughs> You like um, rice krispies? Yeah. Mm. 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 Actually, this is mm. very nice. <laughs> this one, for some reason, mm. I am digging it a lot more than the peanut. The peanut one was good, but this one is like awesome. Mm. All right, the next one is called Lohen Grin, and this is dark chocolate filled with rum cream, and it actually contains a little bit of alcohol. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And um, yeah. It looks like a bone. It looks like a bone, <laughs> and there's something white in it. So, so this is the uh, the alcohol rum cream. Let's see, interesting. You can see alcohol. Not so strong. Not so strong. It's actually a um, little bit. A mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah. A little mm. bit now. A little bit now. Mm. Unless you told me, I wouldn't know that there's mm. rum. Mm -hmm. I would like think that there's rum, but it's not that strong at all. Mocha truffle. Mocha truffle. Mm -hmm. So this one is chocolate with truffle. Mm -hmm. That's what Tommy says. Mm -hmm. Oh, truffle. Mm. Yeah, this is a truffle. E e visual, even it's visually, it looks like a bar of chocolate truffle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This looks rich. Mm -hmm. Alright, daikimasu. Mm. 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 Really nice taste. Mm. Tasty though. Really sophisticated. Mm. Like, reminds me of um, parties. Mm. Nice parties. Like, like, like white wine. Chocolate with white wine. Not so strong, but a little bit winey taste. <laughs> winey taste. And I can't stop sweating. So much chocolate. Okay. I have to uh, change my clothes after this. Next one, I want to skip. <laughs> so do I. But we can't skip it. The name is Skip. Right, and this is a translate to Skipper Licorice Boats. <laughs> And these are sweet licorice, and we all know how much Satoshi loves licorice. Now I like licorice depending on where we get it and what kind it is. Usually I'm not a fan of the ones from like the really really intense ones like Germany and you know from these certain countries. Um, hmm. You remember the last time we had those salted herring licorice? From part one, that one I, I I literally spit it out in mere seconds. I mean, it was like so bad for me. No, don't give it to Justin. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, let's, so let's take a bite together. Three, two, one. 
Ah, take a bite together. Three, two, one. Together! <laughs> Three, two, one. These I like. These are not bad. This one I can handle. This is weaker. Mm -hmm. This is weaker. Mm. Mm. I think this is the mm. limit I can eat. Mm. I actually like these. Mm. I like these. Mm. This is not bad at all. At least this one, you don't get the ammonia aroma mm -hmm. like the last mm -hmm. one, and it's not salty. I don't get salty candy. And mm. this is not bad at all. Mm. I can eat, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> The next one we have is called Knot from Nieder and these look like, um, like, these look like... <laughs> and, uh, um, and there are three different flavors, um, so let's try all of them. There's black, brown, and white. So that's white. Maybe I'll try the brown one. You can try the, the white one. Almost no taste. Are, did you bite it? You have to bite it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. The white one is like peppermint. I can't identify. It. I'll try it too. I combined it with peppermint. Don't combine. Here you go. No one. Ah! <laughs> oh, it just attacked me. Ah! <laughs> it's <laughs> that one. <laughs> ah! ah. Surprise! <gasps> it's so that woke me up. Oh, I gave you the wrong one. Sorry, that's the <laughs> wrong one. Here, try it. Now bite it. Savor the taste, and tell me if you feel the same way. <laughs> right? It's it's like you get the ammonia smell, right? Like the ammonia taste, or flavor, smell. It's gross. It smells like really. Oh my goodness. And we have two more left, and these shouldn't be that difficult. The next one we have is Fisherman's Friend. The last time we mm -hmm. tried Fisherman's mm -hmm. Friend, we tried two different That's flavors. Good. That's good. Right, so this is a menthol flavor, mm -hmm. and it's called Salmiak. What is a Salmiak? Salmiak. Salmiak, I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What does it taste like? <laughs> Solity? <laughs> Solmax, Solmiax, it's a Solmax. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, that fooled us. The last one should be easy because this is English, I hope. This is, this is honey and lemon. <laughs> I hope that doesn't mean like <laughs> fish and snails or something. Honey and lemon. Ooh. I trust that it's simply Ooh. honey and lemon. <laughs> oh, I wish we could share that. I, I wish we could share this with you guys. <laughs> I want to see your faces. <laughs> okay. Ah, nice. Nice end. <laughs> so happy. What is your favorite of today? My favorite? Mm -hmm. I can tell you what I didn't like. Um, it was the uh, tomato sauce mackerel. I am in love with that. I could eat that for dinner, for lunch, for breakfast. I, I, I could eat that again. I, I, I want to look for that somewhere in Japan. How about you? Same. <laughs> that was delicious, wasn't it? That is so delicious. Yeah. Of, mm. co of course, there are a lot of you know other delicious mm. things, mm. but um, eating that those um, salmiak and the the salted licorice thingy just kind of um, made me forget the taste of everything else. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Which one was your favorite? Give this video a thumbs up. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. If you missed part one, don't forget to check that one out as well. Once again, thank you Tommy for saying these snacks and treats. We had a very interesting time trying them out. Until next time, take care. Bye bye. bye.